Canada Blooms is the country's largest gardening show. Each year the latest trends are showcased here, and this year it isn't a new plant fertilizer or gizmo that's causing the most buzz. It's the way that people are enjoying their gardens as more than just a place to barbecue or have cocktails, but for health and exercise. Sort of like this reflexology path. Okay, here we go. Whoa, hey, hey, this is kind of slippery. This year, I'm really seeing a trend towards wellness, mental and physical health right in the garden. So gorgeous plants, lovely comfortable spaces where we can do a little Tai Chi in the morning, a little yoga in the afternoon after a stressful day. So you can bring your creativity to the outdoors and you can have a special space in a garden to meditate or to do Tai Chi or yoga or, or a crossword puzzle. This is another example of a garden that has taken exercise in the garden to new heights. And it's designed by Sean Gallagher. He calls it Otium. And what Otium means is it's a landscape that's easy on the eyes and tough on the body. There's a little description there and you can see he set it up. I mean, this is like a boot camp garden. Canada Blooms is all about specialty and exotic and unusual and the plumeria you do not see for sale anywhere else. We actually get them from an orchard in Hawaii. A lot of people really like them because they thrive off neglect. Um, they, you water them once a week in the summer, even in the full sun. Uh, in the winter time, just water it like once a month. This is the flower image for the show for 2013. It's called Hellebore orientalis. The common name is Lenten Rose here in Canada or Christmas Rose if you live in the UK. No pests, no diseases and deer don't even eat them. So they're the best in a nice shady moist garden. These plants thrive. For some more great gardening tips be sure to tune in to Charlie's radio show on the new AM 740. At Canada Blooms, I'm Darren Maharaj for Super News. <laughs> Take it easy Charlie. <laughs>